Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be starting a new series where I go over what I'm going to refer to as gun owner fallacies, or some of the fallacies uh, that are out there regarding the, the gun world and gun community. Now there are plenty of other channels who do topics like this by different names. Um, however, something happened to me recently, an interaction that I had that uh, kind of inspired me to start talking about this topic. Um, what happened was I was, uh, I was upgrading my phone just recently and when I was at the store upgrading my phone, they were going over the plans and all that. And uh, the, the woman who was helping me found out that I had this YouTube channel. So she was asking for some recommendations on some different products. And she was asking me some of the stuff that I carry on me on a regular basis. Uh, and so I was telling her about my medical kit, uh, my tourniquets, my compression bandages and all that. And by this time, her, her manager had walked up and he asked, well, why, why would you carry a medical kit? To, would you just be put it, giving first aid to the person you just shot? And I was explaining, well, you know, no, that's not necessarily the case. It's not outside the realm of possibility. But, you know, most likely it's if I'm sending rounds downrange, there are probably going to be rounds incoming. And so if I take a hit or if a loved one takes a hit, I want to be able to do something to, to stop that bleeding or whatever the situation is. I'd hate to watch a loved one bleed out because I didn't have the necessary equipment with me at the time. And I, I use the analogy of, well, you don't get into a fist fight not expecting to get punched. So it's the same you know, idea with a gunfight. And whether or not you agree with that analogy is kind of irrelevant, but he, he grabbed onto that idea of, of getting into, into a fist fight and getting punched. And uh, he, he kind of walked away a little bit and started talking to one of the other employees there. And he said the phrase, if someone gets close enough to punch me, I'm just gonna shoot them. And, and that's kind of the idea that I want to talk about in this video. Now, he, he's not the only one out there who I've heard have a similar idea. You watch really any video about self-defense and there are going to be a bunch of quote unquote internet keyboard warriors or whatever um, who are going to say similar things that they're going to shoot first, ask questions later. Uh, most of these people have no idea what the realities of a defensive encounter are. So uh, I've, I've mentioned them before, but if you're not already subscribed to the Active Self-Protection YouTube channel or their Facebook page, I highly recommend that you do it. Uh, John over there does a really good job of taking security cam footage, uh, body cam footage, really any sort of footage out there of self-defense encounters or shootings or anything like that, and breaking them down and taking away the really useful information uh, that we can all learn from. If you watch even just a handful of those videos, you realize very quickly that a lot of those encounters begin already within arm's reach of someone. So that person is already within striking distance of you when that encounter begins. So the idea that you're gonna shoot someone before they have a chance to get close to you is not really a likely scenario. Now, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with the 21 foot rule as well. And if you're not, I'll have a link describing the 21 foot rule below. Uh, but basically what the 21 foot rule is, that it is basically that someone within 21 feet of you can close that distance and get a strike on you, or if they have a knife cut or stab you, in the amount of time it takes for you to draw and fire. So 21 feet is a, is a pretty good amount of distance. That's what, seven yards? So really not that far away. So again, the idea that even if it, the encounter's beating at that distance, that you're gonna be able to draw and fire and get effective rounds on target before they can get to you, um, is hopefully the case, but is also not a very likely scenario if you look at actual instances, even like police shootings. And the other thing I want to mention too is in the course of your daily life, you are within arm's reach of a lot of people. If you go to the supermarket, there's going to be at least a dozen instances where someone was within arm's reach of you, and you're not going to shoot someone behind you in line at the register just because they got within an arm's reach of you. At least I hope not. If you if you would, then you probably shouldn't be carrying a firearm. So again, the idea that you're going to shoot someone just because they're within arm's reach of you, even if they're not necessarily, even if they do seem like they're posing an active threat to you, it, it, it's just not a realistic idea that that you're just automatically gonna shoot someone for that reason. Uh, what I highly recommend people do is take scenario-based training, whether it be with simunitions uh, or airsoft, where, where you're put into those kind of everyday scenarios, whether you're at the ATM or a bank or you know any sort of scenario that you might get put into in a class like that, and realize just how infrequently the correct answer is using your firearm in those situations. Uh, very, very few times in a person's life, generally speaking, are they ever gonna be in a situation where they might even have to draw their firearm, let alone use it in self-defense? So th the idea of shooting someone just because they are close enough to punch you, 
is a very dangerous idea and an idea that I hope that I hope gets less and less pervasive in this community because like I said this isn't the first time I've heard something like this now I didn't address this at the time with, with the individual who said it because you know like I said he was the manager of the store I didn't want to you know call him out in front of his employees and I didn't want to start this big debate while I'm just trying to get a new phone but I just kept thinking about it and thinking about it and just again how much I've heard the kind of ideas like that uh, so I, I just wanted to take the chance to address this and you know maybe even start a new series where anytime I hear someone say something off the wall or something that I uh, vehemently disagree with uh, you know I'll make a video about it or talk about it um, but I want to go know your guys's opinion have you heard someone say something like this before have you said something like this before do you totally disagree with that do you or excuse me disagree with me uh, would you shoot someone just because they're close enough to punch you uh, in, in a scenario like that I'm sure I'll get some pretty interesting answers but I genuinely genuinely want to know what some of uh, my regular viewers think about that um, also, if, if this is a series that you want me to keep doing, let me know. Uh, you know, I just kind of got a wild hair and decided to do this. So if you want to see this as an ongoing series, please let me know. Uh, and I'll continue to make more videos, again, of people who say off-the-wall things or interesting scenarios that I find myself in. Uh, I'm not even sold on the name of gun owner fallacies. Uh, if you have a better name, I'm open to recommendations. Um, but again, obviously, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and throw those in the comment section below as well. I try to stay on top of that as best as I can, so I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. Uh, but as always, you know, I hope you're able to get something out of this video, and I really appreciate you watching.